Hi. What's up guys? Welcome back to my channel. If you're new, my name is Tiffany. I am going to be a senior. I'm a fourth year at Northeastern University studying accounting and management information systems. And I'm gonna be graduating in May of 2021. I just wanna be any resource I can to help you. And so someone requested this video that I do Northeastern pros and cons. And so that is what I'm gonna be doing today. I asked a lot of my friends what they thought the pros and cons of Northeastern was so I could get more of a pool of answers as opposed to just two doing it from my own perspective, but a lot of things overlap. So it's good to see that this is common positives and negatives across a lot of different students. Let's get started. We're gonna start off with the pros. The first pro, for sure, definitely, biggest pro of going to Northeastern is the co-op program. I made an entire video about this and I'll link it down below so you can watch it later if you're interested, but that is probably the biggest draw at this school. Every single person I've talked to at orientation or whenever I met someone in that first month and I asked them, why did you choose to come to Northeastern? Everyone said the co-op program. So that is for sure the biggest draw, something that's very central to the school and something they extremely hone in and focus on, which is very apparent. If you just watch my video, you'll see. I'll go over some of the positives, which is that you can understand your potential career path and the passions you have. You also get to integrate the work experience with going to school at the same time. So you graduate with a year to a year and a half of full-time work experience, which is great for your resume and definitely puts you above other students who are graduating from undergraduate programs at different universities and don't get the same opportunity. You also have the ease of networking that comes with the co-op program because so many recruiters come to Northeastern looking for co-ops, which may lead to a full-time job. I'm not gonna focus too much on that just because I made a whole video about it. The next thing I wanna talk about is the academic curriculum. People were asking me in just comments of other videos if I found it difficult and like what I thought in general about the curriculum at Northeastern. I personally really like it. I don't think it's that difficult. I think it's very challenging, and especially as you get older and start to do things more specialized to your major, but you're also able to maintain life outside of the classroom. And I think that's very important. I know at some very vigorous schools, school is all you do. You're in the library all the time. And I don't think that's how it is at Northeastern. Again, I am a business student. And so like a lot of people say business students have it easier, I guess, in some ways. But I do think that I have a lot of free time and the classes at the same time are challenging. So it's easy to have that balance. And that makes it really fun because you can just focus on other things. Also, the curriculum at Northeastern, the way it's set up is that there is something called, I think it's like NU core or NU path where you have core curriculum classes you're supposed to take. And those are just general categories. And Northeastern has a bunch of classes that fall into those different categories. So you can pick what classes you want to take to fulfill that. So for example, there's a writing requirement, but you can take writing for business. You can take writing in general. You can take writing specifically for something if it's available to you. Or if there is a science core curriculum, you can take any type of science. I don't know all the specifics. That's definitely online, but a lot of people have expressed that they really enjoy that because you can experience different interests and passions while also fulfilling those needs to graduate as opposed to being forced to take certain classes. Some some universities do that and I'm not saying Northeastern doesn't have any specific required classes because it does but a lot of the core curriculum is focused on you kind of picking classes that fulfill those different pathways if that makes sense. Also a lot of people have expressed how much they love the professors at Northeastern and I'm gonna say this depends on your major a lot. For me in the accounting department the professors have been amazing absolutely amazing. There's some of my friends who have had to take some accounting courses because they're business majors, but are not necessarily majoring in accounting, have expressed how much they love the accounting professors because they are so good. And same with my one friend who is studying chemical engineering. She said she absolutely loves the professors. There's a lot of resources on campus in terms of professors. There's usually a TA who's pretty specialized and like understands the subject very well. And the TAs hold office hours, professors hold office hours, which is very helpful. A lot of them are very easy to reach through email email or phone call, they'll give you their personal phone number and you can just literally call them or text them at any time and they'll answer, which is pretty nice. Crazy, I don't think I would do that if I was a professor. <laughs> Most of them are very, very passionate about what they teach and they wanna see you succeed. And so they're always there willing to help you and kind of encourage questions and things like that in the classroom. There's also a lot of different resources on campus in general for your classes and for things outside of class. I mentioned that TAs have office hours, your professors have office 
office hours, but also we have a career center on campus. They offer a lot of different things. Help with building your resume. If you want someone to review, you can go in different workshop sessions or maybe at any time. If you want to build up your LinkedIn, they have workshops to teach you how to do that. Mock interview times. So if you want to practice mock interviewing with someone, that career center can offer that to you. And they do a really good job of focusing on how to get a job. Northeastern also has a writing center, which is open I feel like normal business hours in the library kind of acts as peer review. So people who are students work in the writing center and you can go up to them and just ask them to read any paper or something that you have and they'll help proofread it, read for grammar, help you make sure you get the general idea down. I've been there a couple times for taking a writing class and also I had to write a business plan and I think I brought it to them so they could help me with just making sure I nailed the overall idea of it. I actually think that's a really good resource. So if you have like anything you want them to read, they will really help you. It doesn't even have to be academic, I'm pretty sure. I just want to talk about the location. I think Northeastern is very unique in the way that it's in Boston, which is absolutely amazing. Boston has so much history and it's such a good city and you're in the middle of everything because Northeastern is kind of like a campus placed in a city. Like there are not definite boundaries. There's no fence or anything or gates that you have to walk in to enter campus. It's definitely integrated in the city, but there's lots of green space and certain areas are kind of only Northeastern buildings. I mean, when I get to campus, um, I think I'm gonna try to do some type of tour for you guys. I just think it'd be really funny if I did a tour with uh, one of my friends. <laughs> Basically, yeah, I'll show you guys around campus when I get there and you'll see there's a couple different quads and nice green spaces for people to hang out. It's definitely not city blocks. Northeastern kind of is its own campus oh, tucked away in the city, which I really, really like. So you get a mix of both worlds in that sense. Also, just being in Boston, we have a lot of major airports, which make it easy for moving and moving out, getting on a train. It's very easy to just get around. Boston is such a good, first of all, good nightlife. And as a student, you wanna experience that. But <laughs> the city itself is made up of so many different students and colleges that it is crazy. It is such a college town. I feel like everyone I see is just super young and relates because they either went to college, they're in work in Boston full time or are going to college because Northeastern is surrounded by like so many different schools. I mean, you have Northeastern, Boston University, Boston College, it's a little further out, but people come in. There's just so many different schools and it's just really great to meet a lot of different students. And there's more of a community amongst those schools, a lot of them overlap in terms of the activities they participate in. Another huge, huge, huge draw. I mean, I didn't look into it too much when I was applying to schools, but this is definitely something you should consider. If you love traveling, if you love traveling, please consider Northeastern because there are so many opportunities for you to travel with the school and as a part of your curriculum while still getting your degree. It's absolutely insane and I don't know any other school that has the international network that Northeastern has. You can do a traditional study abroad where you apply to university in a different country and then the credits get transferred back to Northeastern and you can fulfill some of your requirements that way. Very traditional, a lot of schools do that. The things that Northeastern does that a lot of other schools don't do. Alternative spring break, which is that on your spring break or your winter break, uh, you can go with a group of students and a professor to a different country and then you can help them out with service project or volunteer work. You can find all these programs online. As a student, you just have to apply and be accepted. And then you get to go with a professor and a bunch of other students. It's a great way to meet people from different majors as well as feel like you're having an impact on the world as opposed to just the students in your community at university. That is a very, very cool opportunity that you can do if you want to experience that and don't want to go a whole semester abroad. Northeastern also does something called a Dialogue of Civilizations. It is similar to studying abroad, but it's different. Dialogues are usually over the summer and Northeastern does summer classes in two waves. The early half of summer is called summer one and the second half of summer is called summer two. Dialogues are during one of those summer semesters. It's a whole group of students. I feel like the most I've seen is maybe like 30 and usually it's with people in your major because you're getting into more specialized classes and so you're taking things for your major but you're going to another country with a couple professors and all those students from Northeastern. I feel like that's a little 
hard to explain. So I'm just gonna give you an example. So my sister went on a dialogue. My sister also went to Northeastern, in case you didn't know that. So my sister went on a dialogue at Northeastern where she went to Barcelona with two accounting professors, as well as I think 20 other students. They took two classes during summer one while they were in Barcelona. So our Northeastern professors taught them while they were abroad. They would take those classes during those five weeks and then Northeastern and the professors would take them on trips. So I think they visited IBM headquarters. They did a couple day trips to different smaller towns in the area, but they got to just do a lot of different things that Northeastern helped them with. And they were also abroad. So they were taking English speaking classes through Northeastern so you didn't have to worry about transferring credit while you were with Northeastern students and professors, which I think is a huge plus just because you don't have to go through the hassle of applying to a different school, understanding class in a different language, and they provide you with housing. So that's a huge plus. They find flights for you so everyone can fly together if that's something that makes you feel more comfortable. If not, I think you can fly on your own as long as you show up by a specific day when classes technically start. And then at the end of the trip, a lot of students, since they're already abroad, just continue traveling, which I think is great because after you finish your classes, who doesn't want to travel? And then also you can do co-op abroad. It's very, very cool, especially if you're an international business major or are studying international affairs or something related to that field, or you just want to work outside of the US when you're older, you can apply to different employers outside of the country and Northeastern has some connections. And basically when you get accepted, you work in the other country for six months. And that's a really cool way to get work experience, fulfill something for graduation and experience a different culture. If you go to like, London or Australia, you can go and speak English and work at a company. But if you go to other countries and you can't speak the language there, I don't know if that's functional. I don't think you could do that, but just something to keep in mind, especially if you are bilingual, trilingual, can speak multiple languages, it's a very cool program that you can look into and something that's gonna differentiate you in so many ways when you get a full-time job. And just for life experience in general, that's very cool. Okay, these are my last couple pros. There's a diverse community. There are lots and lots of international students. I feel like they make up maybe 30% of the student body, which is kind of crazy. You can experience lots of different cultures just by being in class with all these people. They bring a lot of different perspectives to your education and the courses in general, which make it a lot more valuable in my opinion. A huge draw that I saw, you wouldn't really know unless you were immersed in the student body. Your peers will be very, very motivated. And that is a huge pro because when you're surrounded by people who want to do well, who want to succeed, who want to get the A, get the job, get that co-op, whatever it is, it makes you push yourself so much harder and it keeps you motivated and on top of your game. It's also great for group work. You also can find a lot of like-minded people and there's tons of clubs on campus. I wanna say there's like over 300, 400 clubs and you can definitely find people who are passionate about the same things you are. It gives you the ability to pursue your passions outside of the classroom. Um, I also really, really like the size of Northeastern. It's big enough where you don't know a lot of people. It's just kind of nice, makes you feel like you don't know everyone and that there's something bigger happening around you than just you and your friends but at the same time when you go to class you definitely like see familiar faces and people you know so it's kind of like a good balance of knowing a lot of people and also always being able to find more friends moving on to the cons there aren't many but they're a little significant. First of all, it is very expensive. <laughs> I think you can tell by that if you're applying to the school or if you go to the school, the bills are insane. I will put in the exact tuition and what it is right now. So it is very, 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 very expensive for less prestige. I think Northeastern's a little bit more up and coming. So employers are starting to hear more about it and are more interested in the co-op program and the curriculum and they're seeing Northeastern rise in the ranks, which is great, but it's very expensive and it is not like an Ivy League school that holds that weight. Not much more needs to be said about that. Northeastern lacks a lot of tradition, which I feel like students look for when they go to school. You want to be able to participate in things that people have been doing for the past 40 years on campus, you know, whatever that may be, but Northeastern kind of lacks that. We don't have that much school spirit, I'm gonna be honest. We don't even have a football team. We're pretty good at hockey. People go to the games, but it's not like insane, like the arena is full and like cheering. That happens for the bean pot which is a competition amongst the four schools in Boston. But other than that, there is not that much school spirit. There are not many traditions. If you're looking for something that's super peppy and you want that football stadium atmosphere, uh, Northeastern's not gonna have that. One of the 
big cons is housing. I feel like in every school you have to go through like the doubles, communal bathrooms, all this stuff, which is fine. You have to deal with that at every school and Northeastern's no better than the rest. But we had a problem a couple years ago where we had a housing shortage. I don't know if this is like public information or a rumor. Basically what happened is that since Northeastern is kind of moving up in the ranks, they admitted a lot of students. You know, people either accept and come to school or they reject and go to a different school. Apparently that rate of students who got accepted and decided to go to Northeastern was a lot higher than anticipated. So Northeastern ran out of housing. They kind of solved that with NUN. I don't know if that's like an actual fix or that they just kind of used the program in conjunction with the housing problem. I think they sent more kids on that program, which is that you get admitted to Northeastern, but your first semester has to be studying abroad in a different country. It's so much fun. It sounds insane. Or they were forced to go into Northeastern leased housing and Northeastern was leasing apartment buildings and properties near campus, wasn't that far, but they were not well maintained. They were kind of like icky and a little bit gross. I think that they are fixing that. So a lot of people move off campus, but you're required to live on campus the first two years. So something to keep in mind. So just be aware. I don't know what you can do about that issue. <laughs> the next thing is that at Northeastern, you are forced to mature much faster. You can see that as a pro or a con, it depends. If you're ready for it and you need that push, Northeastern will give it to you because it's so centered on co-op, your career and post-grad life. You're gonna have to be thinking about those things way before you anticipated it compared to if you went to another school. It can definitely be a hard push, especially if you're an undecided major. If you're trying to get a co-op and you're decided it's harder because you're trying to explore different fields and you don't know if your work experience is going to benefit you finding a job in the field you're actually going to end up in so it can just be very confusing and pressuring and stressful if you're not ready for that for people who are ready and know what they want co-op program is the best thing for you it definitely yeah forces you to develop your professional career mindset before a lot of other students have to at other schools think about the fact that you'll be coming home to your friends who you went to high school with and they're gonna be like oh like i have my summer job at the smoothie shop or being a bartender being a server and you miss out on half your summer because you're working in a corporate office building in chicago it's just things like that you have to be ready to take on the professional mindset and a job oriented mindset just because that's the way Northeastern builds the curriculum. It can be very overwhelming. This is also gonna be like a pro or con with the curriculum thing is that you can graduate in four or five years. So it's good in that the traditional sense, you can graduate in four years like everyone else does at other universities around the country, but you can also do five years, which is great if you want more co-op experience, but you're gonna have to come to terms that you're not on the same track and timeline as other students. Five years is a draw because you get more co-op experience, but it's kind of a negative in the fact that you feel like you're not, like you're still in school and everyone else has graduated. So it kind of feels weird. You also don't graduate with all your friends at Northeastern, which is kind of interesting. Like when you're in the same year as everyone, you guys are evolving and moving through the ranks and graduate together. But in a five-year program, you know, you can start with your best friend freshman year and go through it and they can graduate in four years and then you're there for a fifth. And then it's like kind of like funky. It's flexible, so it's good, but it's a little bit different, which is which can be bad. It depends how you take it. I'm not saying in general it's a bad thing. I think it is a good thing, especially if you want more experience. Let's talk about social life. This is an interesting one. Social life is huge in college in general because I don't know, you're there, you're making new friends, you're experiencing a new culture and Northeastern is a little bit different. Northeastern has like a very interesting social life because like I said, a lot of students go on co-op and then come back and then you're on co-op. So if I'm on one cycle and my friend is on the other cycle and we both decide to go to different cities outside of Boston and we don't overlap, I could potentially not see that friend for two years, which is not normal for college. It makes keeping up with friendships a lot more difficult if you guys aren't on the same cycle, which makes it hard to maintain a stable friend group and stable relationship with people you might feel very connected to. It's definitely something to keep in mind. You're gonna have friends scattered everywhere and be in different places of the world while you're taking classes. The dining hall. I don't like them. I mean, I think if I went to any school, I wouldn't like the dining hall. So it's not really a Northeastern based problem. Maybe it's more that like, 
The waits can be very long. They're small. There's not a good variety of food. The food is okay. There's like two and a half on campus. That's what I like to say. There's one in International Village, super modern, super clean, absolutely huge. The food's okay. And then there's Stetson East, which everyone loves their cookies because they are very good and they're always hot and fresh out of the oven. But <laughs> it's just like older and it's apparent and it's a little bit small. There's not that much variety in food. And then there's like a half of a dining hall in Stetson West. I call it a half because I could never tell when it was open when I was a freshman and trying to eat at the dining hall. It would be open on random days at random times and I could never figure it out. And maybe if I just Googled it, I would have known, but I don't know. A lot of my friends also were just like, I don't, I never go there. So there's three Dunkin' Donuts, a Starbucks, and there's some smaller shops you can just pay and buy food from. But again, not the best food options on campus. That being said, you are in Boston. So you can just go anywhere that Boston has to offer and there's a lot of different good food spots in Boston. And then the other thing I was gonna mention is that if you are humanities based, I think that Northeastern puts a huge focus on STEM and business. I think they're our most funded schools. I feel like center of attention at Northeastern. So humanities might be a little bit more underemphasized, underfunded, which isn't great if that's what you're interested in. I've been talking to my camera for an hour now. So I think that's everything I have to say. If you go to Northeastern and are watching this video, maybe if you agree or disagree or wanna add to any of these points, feel free to comment that. So people who are watching it kind of understand your perspective because again this is me and a couple friends that i've gathered opinions from just trying to help you guys out and then if you guys have any other questions drop them down below in the comments i will try my best to answer them or maybe i can do another video of something else you want me to focus on let me know i'd be more than happy to make something about it i have so many ideas for when i get back to campus that's all i really have to say thanks so much for watching i will see you guys next time bye